Alright guys, so today I will show you the latest leaks and info drops for the new mouse and keyboard adapter of the Zim company. If you haven't heard about the new Zim yet, then I would recommend to first watch my previous two videos on the new Zim device. They summarize the development of the last few months and what you can expect from the new device. Links to these two videos can of course be found in the video description. Now the first information comes from Observe himself. The new Zim will run on the same compute platform as Nexus and Zim Apex will not receive the popular Smart Action feature. I know that a lot of Apex users have hoped for Smart Actions to be added to Zim Apex as well, but after Observe's statement this doesn't look like it's going to happen anymore. He indirectly also explained for why that is the case. Both Nexus and the new Zim will share the same compute platform, whereas Apex runs on a totally different one. Now, given how Nexus and the new Zim share the same compute platform, we could actually see a lot of Nexus features to become part of the new Zim device. Now, we already know that the new Zim will have smart actions, but we could also see a lot more Nexus options such as the amazing smoothing feature. The next big information is about the first prototype units which have now arrived in the Zim headquarters. And based on how they perform, we will get to know if the new Zim will come out this year or in the next one. When prototypes are already tested, then this usually means that a product is very far in its development stage. So unless some major problems come up, we might actually see a release before the end of this year. The last big news of today come from one of the biggest Zim distributors in the world. He wrote that the new Zim will have an internal USB hub. Now we already sort of knew that from my previous video, where Ops have confirmed that the new Zim will not have an external USB hub. But now we have the confirmation that it will be an internal hub. And he also said that it will have at least three USB ports, one for the controller, mouse and keyboard. So we might actually get to see a device that could look like the Zim 4. Now, as soon as there are more news about the new mouse and keyboard adapter, I will of course post another video. So subscribe to the channel or register in the Zim forum if you don't want to miss any infos on that. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus we also have a nice little discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.